Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to film my take on the eyeshadow palette tag that has become very popular on YouTube. Of course I had to do this because eyeshadow is legitimately my favorite part of makeup. I love that you can pick different colors to accent the color of your eyes. I love that you can use it to change the shape of your eyes or, you know, just have fun. I love so many different colors. Purple, of course, is my favorite. But I think I look good in green. I think I look good in gold. I think I look good in pink. I don't think there's a color I can't wear. Let's just put it that way. Basically, what this video is about is there are a list of prompts that we have to answer based on the collection that we have. Now, I know this challenge was started by Allie Glines and Samantha March. So I'm just kind of piggybacking on what everyone else has done. I counted my eyeshadow palettes and I'm not talking about quads where there's only four shadows, but like legitimately five or six, I think um, was where I started five or six more shadows in each palette. I counted how many I have. I wish I could say I'm embarrassed, but I'm not. I have over 70. Um, I know at one point my collection had gotten up to over a hundred. And so I scaled back. I've donated some to friends. I sold some on Glambot, you know, just different stuff to try to make sure everything I had in my collection was something that I really loved or felt some type of attachment to and not just hoarding. Collecting, not hoarding, collecting. I'm going to go ahead and get started because this is probably going to be a long video. I love eyeshadow and so I'm probably going to end up talking a lot, but I'll try not to. The first question is, show your newest eyeshadow palette. My newest eyeshadow palette, which I actually got this one literally the day after another one came in, is the eyeshadow palette that I did this look with. This is the Divine Rose palette by Pat McGrath. And I'm trying to make sure that I don't blind you guys, but this baby is beautiful. Rose gold. It was also upside down. <laughs> um, it has pinks and purples, which love and love. But this baby is beautiful. My brand newest, and I'm proud that I got the limited edition packaging. The next prompt is show your oldest palette. Now, the funny thing about this one is I got this one literally when I first got into makeup. Oh, man. I would say this was probably seven years ago. This baby is old. This is the Smashbox. I think it was the Studio Face 2 palette. Masterclass palette, excuse me. Color and contour. <laughs> this palette... So I swore up and down. It's beautiful and it has so many colors. And so of course I said spending $60, I think, or $70 at the time made a lot of sense to me because look at everything it has. Uh, I'm never gonna need to buy another palette. This is everything that I need. I'll only have one palette and it's gonna be the absolute best. I did try to tell myself that lie. And here we are, how many palettes later, have no idea. And I'm excited because um, the Colored Rain Safari palette just came back in stock on Juneteenth, June 19th. And I have my alarm set, boo, because I was getting it. And I got it and it will be in, but it's not till tomorrow. So had I waited a day, that would have been my newest, but that deserves a video of its own. The next prompt is show your most expensive palette. Now, I struggled with this one because we all know Pat McGrath, baby, that's some coins, $125 per palette, per palette. Um, and there's only 10 eyeshadows. Yeah, there's only 10 eyeshadows. This is another of her palettes that I got during the friends and family sale. I try to only buy really expensive makeup when there's a sale because I, I buy too much and I have too much. So there's no reason to pay full price when I have a huge collection of stuff that I'm never going to be able to use probably in my entire life. Pat McGrath's palettes are $125. I have that, but 
I'm also a huge fan of Natasha Denona and I am proud of myself. I did not jump on the bandwagon when she first came out. Some of her bigger palettes are $239. No, I didn't buy it. I swatched them. They were nice, but I was just like, I don't need this. She had some smaller palettes that came out. Um, the Lila palette, which I have, and the Sunset palette, which I have. I love them both. Those palettes are $129. Now, with these palettes, they have more shades in them. So to me, I was like, well, if you're looking at price per gram, then Pat McGrath costs more. But dollar figure, Natasha Denona, this is my most expensive, $129. This one, and I'm trying to make sure I don't drop these because y'all, I will die. This one, um, I was really happy to see when she started coming out with the palettes these size. This one also cost $129, but there are a lot more shadows in it. So to me, I felt like this was more worth the money than the sunset palette but i had already bought it because i love warm colors gold brown red all me all day so of course i had to have that palette your girl has a collection and it's expensive and every single time i've moved i move my eyeshadow most of my makeup but definitely my eyeshadow is myself because if somebody breaks something it's going to be a problem so if i break it it's on me nobody else needs to catch that heat the next question is show your most affordable palette. Now I do have the e.l.f. palettes that everyone is talking about how amazing they are. Guys, I don't know if I'm bougie or what. They are right. But I mean, first, I don't call that a palette because it's four shades. So that's quad to me. Second, I'm just, they're all right, you know, whatever. But this palette, this is by the brand Carity. I love camo. Anybody who knows me, any color camo, I love it. But I love olive green. And this palette is screaming my name, right? So I'm like, oh, that's nice. And I look online and it's like $24, $25. I don't know if I'm cheating because I'm counting this as my least expensive, but I paid $6, $7 maybe with tax for this palette. And I was super excited. I found it at a CVS and it was on sale. So as you can see, right up my alley with my military olive, yellow, mustard, $7, didn't think twice. The next prompt says to show your everyday palette. Now, I don't have an everyday palette because I have probably five or six that are on my vanity in the bathroom and I literally just grab whatever I'm in the mood for so it changes. But if I'm in a hurry and I just want a simple look, not really looking like I'm doing makeup, but still want to look put together, um, I actually use this face palette. This is the Tarte, Tartus Times Makeup Shayla Contour Palette. I use this because the colors in here, sorry, the colors in here, I use this for my whole face. This to contour if I want a deep contour or this one just to contour and bronze. But I'm sorry, this one. This is a blush. This is a highlighter. This color right here is more like an accent. It's not really a bold highlight, but you can use it as a highlighter. And this is a brightening powder. I use this for an eyeshadow. If I'm in a rush and I need something fast, I take this color, I put it in my crease. I take this color to darken my outer V. And then this color, I love to just put, like you can barely see it. It just has a little shine to it. I love putting that on my lid to give myself an extra little oomph without going overboard. So this is actually my everyday real quick eyeshadow palette. The next prompt is show your most colorful palette. I definitely have to say it would be this Take Me to Brazil palette by BH Cosmetics. Now, I used to have the Urban Decay Electric. Um, I feel like I had something else that might have had bright colors in it, but I got rid of it. I just, 
when I moved into my new house, I tried to kind of scale back and get rid of stuff that I wasn't using. And I really like the colors in this one. And it's by BH Cosmetics, really affordable brand. I think this might've cost 10 bucks, 15 bucks, something like that. But it's all these beautiful, bright, shimmery colors. So I was like, this is every color in the rainbow. If you need a bright color, you'll have this, you'll be good. For my smallest eyeshadow palette, I actually have this little cutie right here. Now again, I'm not talking about quads, I'm talking about a full eyeshadow palette. This is by ColourPop and it's called Take Me Home. Now, I probably have, we're not even gonna count, but let's just say I have a crap ton of palettes with this color scheme in it. And my thing was, oh, I need to have this because I can put it in my travel bag and I'll take it with me and it'll be all I need. There's never all I need, like I need it all, all the time. So this is cute and the colors are good. I love them, but it stays in my drawer because I'm just like, oh, that's cute. But I have so many other palettes that have this color scheme in it. So I just use those. I will stick this in my bag when I'm traveling but it's not the only one in my bag. For my biggest eyeshadow palette, I have two that are the same size, so I'm gonna show them both, but of course, who else? Morphe, huge palettes, don't take them anywhere. They stay on my vanity. Um, this one I got because, hello, what colors did I tell y'all I like? <laughs> Notice a pattern here, this section right here, this section up here, this section here. And then this is when I want to have a little fun. But overall, like this right here, a lot of YouTubers, when they do their makeup, they put a color like this in their crease. It's something, the color of their skin or a little darker just to set as a base. So that's why those are so big. But this, they said was limited edition, sold out. I didn't get it felt FOMO and then it came back and I was like, oh, I need to have it. And I'm not sure if it's permanent now or not. I also decided to get the James Charles palette because all the hype and all the colors. Now, again, this one's pretty colorful, but it's not as like bam electric as the BH Cosmetics one. Um, I do like this one a lot. I need to play with it more. It's a lot of the colors that I normally use. Got my purples and my pinks, a little bit of blue, got my greens, got my neutrals and my reds, and then the primary color. So this is just like a, if you wanted to try to lie to yourself, or if you're not like me, and you want one palette that has a good variety of colors, this would be good. And the quality is good. You know, a lot of people use Morphe because they're inexpensive and they have good shadows. So if you're looking for something that has everything you need in one place, here you go, but you're not gonna take it anywhere because it is hell to try to pack this. And I don't want anything breaking, so this will be great for at home. My palette with the best memory. I had to think about this and it was kind of hard to pick, but I ultimately narrowed it down to this one. This is my Kat Von D Metal Matte Eyeshadow Palette. I got this palette, I believe when I first moved to Houston. And again, I tried to lie to myself and say like, oh, this is gonna be like one of the last palettes I'll need to buy because look at these metallics, look at these mattes, it's everything. Looking at it now, I don't use it a lot. Um, it is limited edition and I actually, I even got a backup of this thing. That's how much I was in love with it. The first time I ever did a cool tone look, I used the silver in here. And so that's why this has such a good memory for me because this it was the first time I ever went outside of my comfort zone and I got so many compliments on the look that I just, this is like my, oh, remember when I did that's how I feel about this palette. Show a palette worth the hype. Didn't even have to think twice about it. Of course, y'all know I love Pat McGrath, always worth the hype. But 
for as many palettes as Anastasia Beverly Hills puts out, this baby right here didn't even hesitate when it came out. First of all, I love Jackie Ina. If you don't follow her, go follow her. You've been under a rock if you don't follow her. She is a black woman from Nigeria. She has the most beautiful eyes I've ever seen in my life. And her lashes, her lashes look like my falsies. But I say she's beautiful because she does the most amazing eyeshadow looks and she has like her eye shape she has such a big lid space that her colors always pop she also loves pink and purple so this palette right up my alley pink purple oops pink purple a little bit of green gold literally everything i live for right here totally worth the hype if you've used anastasia beverly hills eyeshadow palettes you know there's been a couple that have been a miss, but overall the shadow quality is amazing. Very blendable, very pigmented. Everybody loves them. But this palette, it was like there was something different about the quality of these shadows. And if you Google it and look at other YouTubers, you'll find that they also said this was worth the hype and this formula was different. So again, I don't know if she would even see this, but congrats to Jackie for this collaboration. And this is absolutely a palette that was worth the hype. <sighs> palette not worth the hype. I am probably going to catch a lot of flack about this. Or maybe not because I'm still small and y'all don't know any better. Now don't get me wrong. <laughs> I'm not saying that this is a bad palette at all. It's a great palette. The thing is, it's the best palette that Urban Decay has ever made. I'm talking about the Urban Decay Born to Run eyeshadow palette um it's the best palette that they've ever done in my opinion i don't have the honey one naked honey whatever it's called i don't want it i don't care if it looks better in person than it does in the swatches yada yada no i don't want it this one i love all of these colors they're all mostly warm there's a few pops of color overall i just felt like this palette Looking at it compared to like the Jackie Ina palette or the psh, Natasha Denona Metamorphosis palette, like these colors seem dull. You know, they pack a they pack a good punch, but overall to me they just seem a little dull compared to everything else that I've pulled out. So again, don't get me wrong, this is an amazing palette. It works well. It's just not worth the hype compared to all the other eyeshadow palettes that are out right now. It's worth the hype for Urban Decay. I will give them that, but in general, it's all right. It's a good palette. It, it's just all right. My favorite palette from a favorite brand. This one was hard for me because I know you guys keep hearing me talk about Pat McGrath and Natasha Denona. I can't pick one. So I'm cheating. I don't care. It's my channel. I do what I want. <laughs> I'm still struggling because I don't know. I'm like Pat McGrath, Pat McGrath, Bronze Seduction or Divine Rose 2. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, this. Honestly, wear every day, wear to work. I can wear what I want to work as far as colors. So for me, I'm not stuck in like a work have to wear neutrals, but just for like a standard every day, I can wear neutrals in here every day, glam it up. I can do pretty much anything with this eyeshadow palette. Wait, do y'all see my eyes right now? And this Divine Rose 2. Ugh. Okay, I don't know. One of those two. I'm sorry. But also, I, I can't pick one. I can't. The colors in here, I can't pick one. It's either going to be Pat McGrath or Natasha Denona. This Natasha Denona palette. Absolutely love it. Cream to powder formula in her eyeshadows. Metallics. Like, what? What are we talking about? Like, look at this shine. Hold on, let me show you this blue. Look at this color, like for real. And swatches are not like 
Swatches are not how you tell how good an eyeshadow is. You tell how good an eyeshadow is the way it blends, but just look at the pigment and how metallic these shadows are. They're beautiful. So without a doubt, Natasha Denona or Pat McGrath, either one of those will make my day absolute favorite from either of those brands. Last but not least, most used palette. Now, this is weird for me because this palette sits in my top drawer. It is the NARS Skin Deep Palette. And it sits in my top drawer because it's so basic, but it's not basic, if that makes any sense. Like, crease colors, bronzer color, contour color, all right here. Brightening. It's kind of like a total face palette, like the Tarte one I showed earlier, but with a little bit more. The metallics in here as well are just, they're incredible. This stays in my top drawer. And again, if I want to do a quick look, but I feel like this is what it is about this palette. I just figured it out. I'm not going to go crazy with this. Like I'm going to pick a few colors. I'm going to do my eyes and I'm going to go about my business. And that's why it's every day. It's fast. There's not a lot to be confused by. You know, it's just, do you want a bronze look? Do you want a gold look? Do you want like a lighter peachy? Do you want more champagne? I don't really use this. This isn't my thing. But, you know, Barbara, that's what you got. Versus Pat McGrath Bronze Seduction. I can sit down and play, honey. I can put different color combinations. It, those shadows make me want to play. This is just like, this is what you have. This is what you're going to use. I'll swatch. And I've had this palette for a while. You know, it's a nice palette. Uh, let me swatch this reddish brownish one here. So here is the color that I probably use the most often on my lid. These are the Natasha Denona's. And then also this beautiful bronze brownish kind of color. It looks more red in the pan here, but those are the colors that I gravitate towards. So this palette for every day because easy, quick, I pick a look, no BS, eyeshadow, fast, done, easy. This is my everyday most used palette. Not everyday, but most used palette. Well, guys, that's it. I hope this wasn't too long and I hope you guys did not get tired of hearing me run my mouth. I could talk about eyeshadows all day. I'm going to say that every time I pull out an eyeshadow palette because like I really get excited. It, it, I don't know. It just does something. I love makeup, which is why we're here today. Thanks for watching this video. I'm sorry I cheated on a couple of the categories, but I really couldn't make up my mind. If any of these palettes are your favorites, or if you'd like to comment below, let me know what some of your favorites are. I'll see if I have them in my collection. I'll see if maybe I need to buy them. If you recommend them, you never know. Give me a reason to buy something. Who is checking for the Natasha Denona bronze palette that just dropped? I'm telling myself I'm not gonna buy it, but if it's still around when the VIB sale comes, I'm going to get it. I already know. It's not even a question. <laughs> I'm gonna, it's going to be on sale. So in my mind, it's okay for me to buy it then. Thanks for tuning in. I enjoyed doing this. I'm probably going to follow up and do some other tags that are going out right now. But that's it for this one. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any friends that have questions about eyeshadow palettes or are looking to start a collection, share this video with them just to help give them some ideas on what's in the market, price range, different color schemes, whatever. There's a lot of palettes in this video. I'm sure you'll find something that you like. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye guys.